In this session, I will be discussing most important questions from module 1 for the subject BMATEC 301, that is AV Mathematics 3 for Electronics and Communication and the Allied Branches. So, moving on to the discussion. So, the first question is from module 1 is, you can read the question, obtain the Fourier series for the given function f of x equal to modulus of x in the range of uh, minus pi light uh, in minus pi less than x less than pi okay the range of x they have mentioned in between minus pi and pi the function which is given is modulus of x so first of all it is desirable to define the function like this okay given function now what you can do is you can define the function f of x equal to minus x in the range of minus pi less than x less than zero uh, where f of x equal to plus x in the range of 0 less than x less than 5. That you know, right? Yeah. Now, what you can do is f of x equal to uh, modulus of minus x that will be equal to modulus of x that is equal to f of x. So, you know that for even function, okay, for even, the, uh, the, in the, the Fourier term, you can see bn will be equal to 0. That point, you will be getting 1 marks. The def definition of the function, you will be getting another 1 marks. Okay. Next is what you can do is you have to elaborate. f of x can be written as you might have studied the definition a naught by 2 plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n x. Okay. Uh, where a naught can be uh, defined as 2 by pi 0 to pi f of x dx. You have to buy hard this formula. Okay. I request you to buy hard this formula. So now what you can do is you can compute the value of a n. Okay. Using this formula, you can compute the value of a n. The credit will be 6 marks. So ultimately, uh, a naught will be equal to pi. You will be getting a naught equal to pi if you simplify then a n will be equal to minus 2 by pi n square into 1 minus minus 1 whole to the power n. Ultimately, you combine with the a naught, a n, everything you have to combine. This is your ultimate formula, right? Yeah, this formula you have to elaborate. Ultimately, f of x will be equal to pi by 2. Okay, pi by 2 plus. A, a naught will be pi only. You know, definitely, a naught by 2 means pi by 2. Uh, sigma n equal to 1 to infinity, the same value whatever you obtained here. A n will be equal to how much? A n, we, I obtained that minus 2 by pi n square, 1 minus, minus and whole to the power n. Cos n x is actually standard one. Okay. Ultimately, the formula, we substitute everything. This is your core formula. Uh, let me mark one second by using different digits so that you will be understanding in a better fashion. So, kindly uh, refer this. Yeah, this, this is a core formula. Remember this core formula. So, from this A naught, you have to calculate a naught you have to calculate. Then you have to elaborate it. That's all. Very simple. Ultimately, the you will be getting 10 marks. I request everybody uh, to go through the following steps. Definition of the function. Okay. Then uh, importance of modulus function you should know. Instead of modulus function, sometimes you will be getting some other function. Same fashion you have to elaborate it. Okay. You, you, know to, you, you need to know the Fourier series formula. Okay. Fourier series formula, f of x formula, you are supposed to remember. Okay, very, very important. This is the fourth part. From that, you can define. Okay, A naught can be computed. A n also should be computed. Later, elaborate f of x. That's all. Very simple question. Uh, you may get a similar kind of question for other function in the university examination. Sometimes the same question might be asked in the examination because this is one of your university question. Okay, which we have taken from uh, two years back. Okay, so uh, likewise, you can expect a similar kind of question. Now, I would like to introduce another type of repeated question. Please refer the question. Find the Fourier series expansion for the function f of x, x in the range of 0 less than x less than 5, x minus 2 pi in the range of pi less than x less than 2 pi. Weightage is 10 marks. How to solve this? Okay, uh, let's work out. Okay, let me change the ink so that you will be understanding. Yeah, first in the form of you have to uh, note down the given function. So, one more thing f of x equal to f of 2 pi minus x that is equal to 2 pi minus x. So, it's an even function. So, credit will be given as for 1 mark. So, now we have to elaborate the formula for Fourier transform. f of x equal to a naught by 2 plus sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n x. Because it's even now. Now, what you can do is a naught you have to come to 2 by pi 0 to pi f of x dx. f of x is already given, right? By 2 pi minus x. So, a naught can be computed. Ultimately, you will be getting the value of a naught is equal to pi. Of course, it is correct only. Now, we have to work on a n. How to calculate a n? 2 by pi 0 to pi f of x cos uh, n x. So, uh, by the way, you will be getting minus 2 pi n square into 1 minus minus n whole to the power n. So, if this is a core part, you will be getting 6 marks because main parts uh, parts of the segments are a naught you have to compute. Later, a naught you have to compute. 
Okay, so these two, if you compute, will be getting six marks. Ultimately, your job will be very simple. Okay, so ultimately, what you are supposed to do is uh, this formula. See, this is your formula. Here, a a naught will be equal to pi. Then a n is equal to minus two pi n square one minus minus one whole to the power n. You substitute combinedly these two parts. You substitute combinedly, then you will be getting another one mark. So totally, you will be getting uh, ten marks. This is the way how the marks is distributed. I request everybody to write according to the marks. Okay, if you write according to the marks, it will be great. Uh, you will be getting full score because these are the major components which we have added in the uh, scheme of evaluation. So another question. So please refer the question. Okay. Yes, kindly read uh, the Fourier series expansion uh, of y up to the first harmonics if it is given by. So one table is given the first row. The value of x is given. Uh, the, then the second row, you can see the function, value of function. Okay. The variable is x. The function is f of x. So now you have to compute the Fourier series expansion for y up to the first harmonics. So note on the given table, okay, as it is in this fashion. Okay, given data, right? So uh, now you can count what is what is the n n will be equal to number of sample is equal to six. One, two, three, four, five, six, of course. Okay. Then 2L is equal to no, 6. From that, you can compute L is equal to 3. This is a standard procedure. Now, you can write the general uh, Fourier transform. Y is equal to F of X. That is equal to A naught by 2 plus sigma N is equal to 1 to infinity A N cos phi X by L plus sigma N is equal to 1 to infinity B N sin N phi X by L. So, L you already computed. That is equal to 3. So, now sigma Y you have to compute. Sigma Y will be equal to how much? 125. Okay, you compute everything. You will be getting 125. Then y cos theta that is equal to minus 25. Sigma y sin theta that is equal to minus 3.464. Ultimately, a naught will be equal to 40.6. Then a1 is equal to how much? Use the formula. Uh, minus 8 point. You can use the calculator. No issue. B1 is equal to minus 1.15. Then you substitute everything. F of x equal to a naught by 2. What is a naught? 41.67 divided by 2. So this value will be how much? a1. Uh, minus 8 point. Okay. You substitute accordingly. Please substitute accordingly. So, this is your ultimate uh, result. Please note on the ultimate result. Theta and all you keep as it is. There is no issues. Okay. This is the way how to proceed for this particular problem. Hope it is very clear to everybody. Okay. I think you can expect similar kind of problem uh, for your forthcoming examination. So, most important, please don't leave. So, another question is also a similar fashion. You can see like, please read the question. So let me change the color. Okay. Expand y as a Fourier series up to the first harmonics. They will ask only up to first harmonics. They never ask about the second or third. If the values of y is given by so variable x, then this is your function. Okay. Now so given data. These are the given data. Now first you identify the number of total uh, like a number of samples. Period. Period will be six only. So what you can do is two l is equal to six. Then l is equal to three. Sigma y you can compute. Okay. Uh, then uh, uh, y cos cos x you can compute. Y sin x also can compute as that of previous problem. A naught will be uh, uh, like the 20, uh, uh, 29. A1 is equal to minus 3.67. B1 is equal to minus, sorry, 0 0.1732. Ultimately substitute in the f of x. Okay. This is ultimate. This is actually, uh, see, 2.9 divided by, not 29, 2.9 divided by 2, that is equal to 1.45. That's all. A not formula. You please walk, follow the formula. So already similar as in that of the previous question, kindly refer the formula. General equation for the Fourier transform. So based upon that, you can solve it easily. It's not a big deal to solve. Uh, you if you refer the formula, that is more than sufficient. Even you can uh, make use of the data handbook. Okay, please refer the data handbook also. So let me know if you have any questions related to the module one. So kindly put up in the comment box. If any other doubts related to this discussion, you can put up. We are happy to answer that. Thank you very much for watching this video. Happy learning. Have a great day. Good luck.